Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Local Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7, Chapter 20, Congruency of Triangles, Exercise 20A, Question Number 11. And what have we got here? It says that triangle DEF is congruent to triangle STU. Study the triangles carefully and then find S and T. Now, basically, it's telling to us, uh, basically, the question is telling us that this triangle DEF is congruent to um, what is it congruent to STU right so DEF is congruent to ST uh, STF you so STU right now you see here that uh, we have to find the measures of S and T and Ang uh, angles S and T right so first of all what is angle S and what where is angle T this is angle S right this one and this is angle T alright this one now we have to prove that what is the measure of these triangles right so now first of all again we will use the method that is corresponding parts of corresponding triangles or uh, sorry corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal that is C P C T C or you can say E as well congruent or equal both will work fine now you see here that using this this rule is basically that corresponding parts of the two triangles that are congruent are equal. How do you find the corresponding parts? From the sequence given. See, angle D is equal to angle S. Alright. And angle E is equal to angle F. Sorry, angle E is equal to angle T. And angle F is equal to angle U. See, first letter of the triangle will be corresponding to the first letter of the other triangle second letter of the triangle will be corresponding to the uh, second letter of the other triangle and here we are talking about angles this is a bit different for sides okay see how now this is for angle C first letter that is angle D will be congruent to angle C the second letter is angle E that will be congruent to angle T third letter is F that will be congruent to angle U fine so we have to find for S and T. Alright. So we find it. See here. That angle T equals to angle E. Right. This will be. The reason will be. Congruent parts of congruent. Uh, tri corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent or equal. Right. C, P, C, D, C. So angle E measures what? Angle E measures 50 degrees. Now we have to find. So angle T will be also 50 degrees. Angle T therefore, angle T equals to 50 degrees, right? This will be one. Then angle U equals to, sorry, angle S equals to angle D. This is what it is, right? So angle S equals to angle D and same reason will be there. That is congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent or corresponding parts right now the uh, this s is the measure of s we have to find but d the measure of angle d is given that is 80 degrees right therefore angle s equals to 80 degrees fine this becomes our answer s is 80 degrees whereas t is 50 degrees fine and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye